The UPC party president Jimmy Akena faction has come out strongly warning officials of the Milton Obote Foundation, which is responsible to run the operations of the Uganda House, for conniving with Olara Otuno in mismanaging the party's funds. We have a corset agreement which is binding to two parties, MOF and UPC. They have refused to respect it. The party secretary general Edward Segany revealed that the Tunis faction has for long been working to bring the party down. We should reject them. Don't listen to them. Look at them as detractors, as enemies of the party. Segany adds that the faction in question connives with the Milton Body Foundation, funding the Go Forward Camp members. Time will come when we shall question them. How and why did they use matter money to fund independence? He says UPC has its own candidates who need to be funded, but that money is diverted which affects UPC candidates vying for several elective posts. UPC members are suffering in the field. They don't have show. They don't have posters. They don't have resources. But these guys are misusing, spending our money on dubious very wrong anti-constitutional activities. A recent court ruling gave UPC 60 days to solve their issues outside court. The official has vowed to mobilize the party members to take a next step if things fail to be solved amicably. If all options fail, the last thing we shall do is to mobilize all members of the UPC to converge around Uganda House and face more. This message I repeat. Since Jimmy Akena was controversially elected on the 30th of May 2015, former President Olaro Tuno is yet to recognize him, saying his election was illegal. This report is compiled to you by Andrew Kagwa for WBS News.